In this video, I'm gonna show you how to organize your tech stack, AKA all that software and all those tools that you use every single day. Let's face it, tracking all the software tools that we use as entrepreneurs and our team uses every day, super tedious, super boring, nothing sexy about it at all. But that list seems to be growing every single day, every single week. We try a new tool out, we give people access to it, we get all psyched up about it, and then we forget to track the darn thing. And I bet you're like me, you're probably using 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 different tech tools to run your business. Having all of those important details like who has access, but more importantly, what processes and systems inside your business are actually reliant on those tech tools. Having all that information in one place is super important and will come in super handy someday, I promise you. This video is actually, I wanted to give a shout out to Layla at Process Driven. Uh, she gave me the idea to start a tech stack list inside of ClickUp. So I definitely want to give a shout out to her and I'm going to link to her channel right up here as well. So let's bust over into my ClickUp and I'm going to show you around. This is my tech stack list. So as you can see, we use a few tools to be able to run our business uh, here at Orange Nomad. So basically I'm just going to run through the columns. I've got the name of the tool itself. Uh, I've got a, the task ID bumped out because I'll do a separate video on that because I use the task ID inside of ClickUp to be able to track that inside of tools like Zapier. Future video. So what software type is it? What link is it? How much does it cost? Uh, what is the plan? Is it monthly, annual? Uh, do I get a free as an affiliate? Uh, what day of the month is it built on? What day of the month or what day, month and year is it built on? And who on side of my team has access to the, all of those tools? But I actually took Layla's video one step further and I actually broke it down and created relationships. And I'm going to link to a video up there as well. The ClickUp video on relationships uh, on, and how you can have other lists inside of ClickUp and be able to connect things together inside of ClickUp. Uh, pretty cool. And again, separate video. So I take those exact same tools and we've started to break down which automations uh, do we have inside of ClickUp that are reliant on it. So here we have a calendar, Calendly meeting workflow automation, and it is reliant obviously on Calendly. Uh, but this one right here, ClickUp, if I go inside of ClickUp and I look at that task, I can get all that information that I have, you know, when it's due, all that good fun stuff. But down here under the relationships tab, I can see which automations I have inside of ClickUp that are reliant, obviously, on ClickUp. Uh, so it's kind of meta, I know. Uh, but what we've done is we've gone through and figured out, okay, this particular tool is, is driven by these three processes inside of my company. And one of the things that we also started to do, and if you catch my previous video, I'll link to it up there as well on how to create templates and how, what a superpower that is. We're going to start linking which of the tools are related to which tasks we have in our business. So that could be a number of tasks like creating these videos, uh, onboarding a new customer. I want to know what tools are reliant on what processes and functions inside of my business. And that will come in super handy. Trust me. Uh, we actually did a heavy lift where we migrated CRMs. So I had to know which processes and systems and tasks inside of my business were actually reliant on the old CRM so that I can move those over to our new C CRM. So yeah, we went from keep to high level, by the way. Again, if you want to know more about that, let me know. So if you use a tech stack list inside of your business, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if this is the kind of videos you like, be sure to check out this other video over here to make sure that you're not making some of those same mistakes that I did with ClickUp. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.